Uh, here I am with Ingrid uh, Prendergast, who is the wife of Mikhail Sen. I hope I got his first name right, because I'm horrible at pronunciation. Thank Perfect. you. <laughs> and uh, Ingrid and uh, Mikhail have been uh, married for a number of years. He's a legend down here, a legend in my books anyway. He's certainly extremely well known and hugely liked. He's extremely popular. We love right. him. But yes. we're going to have a behind the scenes so talk about uh, what it's like to be married to a, a top class musician. Not only that, to have a daughter who is becoming a top class musician as well. So yeah. this is going to be a talk about Ingrid. Hi, Ingrid. How are you? I'm really well. Thank you. I'm doing good. Doing good. Perfect good. weather. Lovely. Oh, it's calmed down a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes, I have to lovely. say, I do like the hot ones. I just that's me. Yes. I think <laughs> so I'm on my I... own with this one. <laughs> well, you know, anyway. I'm uh, I'm of Jamaican origin, so I I can deal with heat. I'm Jamaican and I'm Canadian, so I've got the heat and the cold also. Well, let's talk about that first. That's a nice intro. Yeah. How did you pitch up on the Riviera all the way from wow. Canada? That is a long story. Come on. Um, I, Put it in a nutshell. I studied languages. I studied languages and linguistics in um in in school in university. And I really, really wanted to speak French like the French. I didn't want to speak French like the French Canadians, excuse me, French Canadians, but I really wanted to speak French. The first time I heard that language, I was blown away. And I I love all languages, actually. So I made my way to Paris back in the late 70s, right out of uh, university. Wow. And um, yes, and uh, I loved it so much. I stayed and stayed and stayed. I'd stayed my welcome <laughs> and stayed. <laughs> and then at one point in my life, I really was missing my family. I was missing my family and I was also missing sun and sea or sun and water, I should say, because, uh, okay, Paris has a sun, all right, but uh, Canada has lots of lakes, Jamaica has uh, the ocean and rivers, and I really am really, really into water. So I really wanted somewhere with water. So I was either wanted to go back to Canada, to the United States where a lot of my family live, my dad and all my uncles and that, and, or Jamaica. And my husband was not on board too much with that idea. He was on board as he was just building up his music business and uh, really wanted to stay put and, and build that up. So that so, was in Paris. You met him in Paris. That was in Paris. Yes, we met oh, in Paris. I didn't realize uh, that. I thought it was yeah, all, yeah. all happened down here. Oh, no, we met in Paris. Ah. And then uh, to make a long story short, um, my I started working for a cruise company called Star Clippers. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you've heard of them. They're, uh, they have um, sailing ships, big, mm -hmm. enormous clipper ships. Um, it's, a, it's a cruise company. And uh, my boss decided to relocate here to Monaco because uh -huh. the big boss asked her to. And she asked me to come with her. And I said, oh, sun, sea. Hmm. Yes, I can do. I can do that. <laughs> Michael was a bit skeptical. Michael was skeptical because moving out of Paris for, for a musician is is almost a no no because mm. that's where everything's happening, and uh, they're they're quite sure that if they move away, then they will lose all their business. So he was a bit skeptical, but he in the end he said, "Okay, we can, let's do it." And we moved down here in 1999. Wow. And I don't think he regrets it at all. In fact, I know he doesn't regret it. He had a great time coming when he wasn't on tour because he was on tour for quite a while, mm -hmm. um, you know, world tour, and quite a while with certain musicians. And um, he you just fly down here instead of flying to Paris, he flew here. For him, it didn't make an enormous difference. And he would come down and enjoy the weather and enjoy skiing in the mountains in the weekdays when there was nobody on the slopes. That was uh, fantastic for him. 
And slowly he got used to the idea of living here and um, working. In the beginning, he didn't tell too many people he was working here. He was living here. He was kind of, oh, no, I'm not going to tell too many people I'm living here because they won't call me for jobs. But in the fact, that didn't really matter, in fact. So, yeah, he, um, we came down here and uh, we've been here now 23, 24 years. Unbelievable. That's uh, amazing. And yeah, we've been here 24 years. We've been together 30, almost 34. Wow. So you should that's... be let out by now. Sorry. <laughs> you should be let out by now. It sounds like yes, a yes. sentence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, we've been together for 34 years and we we met um I was a I was a backup singer. I was a dancer and a backup singer. Oh, so you you have the musical talent too. Yeah, it kind of runs in the uh, It runs in the family, yes. My son, my son who lives in Canada, he's a bass player. So oh. we all yeah, we all do something musical. So we met up in a group, a girlfriend of mine. Uh, we were kind of like mercenaries. We were three girls and we did backup <laughs> backup singing for different groups. And uh, the group that uh, we did the backup singing for 34 years ago, uh, wow. Michael was the guitar player. So there you go. That's and nice. that's, that's his history. <laughs> That that's uh, uh, there's more history in there uh, that we could get out, but I don't know we've got the time. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a really a meeting of souls, and uh, yeah. So, what is it actually like having musician? Because they have weird hours. You had a normal job, he has no, weird hours job. How does it work? I had a normal job uh, when we had kids, uh -huh. but. Before I was a dancer and a backup singer, so we didn't have normal lives anyway. <laughs> and um, and I figured, for me, uh, I fell in love with a musician, and music is his passion. Yes. Um, and I know that, so I know he's going to be away on tour. He's going to be late nights. It's going to be, can you come to the birthday party? Maybe not. Can you come to the anniversary? Maybe not. Can you, so on and so forth. So this is something you either, in the beginning, you say, okay, this is how it is. And that's what you live with. Okay. You can't expect the person, if you are, or else you get the mailman or the bank manager, and that's what you do with your life. But I knew I was with a musician and I would lived the life for quite a bit. So I knew that um, we were going to have a life not the nine to five like anyone else. There's times when uh, I don't see him for months, although he comes more and less now than before. Huh. You know, we have studios at night and, and I would get up early in the morning and we cross like ships. So we have to make, actually, we have to make a rendezvous. We have to make a meeting. Okay, let's meet this time, this place. Or if I wanted, I kind of imposed. I also imposed how many weekends a year and how many weeks of vacation with the family. And that you have to impose. Okay, you want a family? Well, with family come certain things. And so we are going to have at least three weekends alone. Somewhere we're going off. There's no guitar. <laughs> there's no phone and or we'll have the two weeks vacation with the kids and it worked out pretty well it, it works well. for you it absolutely it works you you me. both thrive on it works uh, for me you together I'm you both thrive person. on it yes i'm a pretty independent person i don't get bored i have lots of things i like to do and i don't have to do them with my husband or someone i love doing things with him but it does not, it's not, uh, oh my God, I, I, I don't, I'm not stuck to someone all the time. Well, no, I don't brings, need. That brings us neatly on to something else you have a passion for, apart from music and uh, raising a family, and that is food. You are very much yes. a foodie. So my husband will tell you that he probably married me because of the food. <laughs> 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 I thought it was my beauty and wit and charm. Sorry, there's a helicopter going over. So, yes, I thought it was my wit and charm, but apparently it's the uh, food. I love to cook. 
I love to cook and I love different, I love mixing different um, uh, cultures and I, I, I love that. It's one of my favorite things to do, mm. really. But you so said I, I, extremely well. Yes, I love it. So I do, well, you've come to my, uh, to my Jamaican uh, Christmas. So yeah, that is uh, that I always make a Jamaican food at Christmas. And I can't say I make Canadian food because there's no Canadian food. Uh, but I, again, I do a lot of Moroccan food. I love tagines. I love, I do a lot of exotic stuff. I wouldn't say like I, I cook French. I don't. If I want something really French, I'll go out and have it. But I don't really do French cuisine per se. I could, but I don't. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Yeah. So, turning back to the family, your daughter yeah. now is moving into the mold. Uh, she, well, she has I been for a while. Been in the mold for quite a bit. She was still in, she was still in high school. Wow. When she started, and which I mean, she played piano when she was younger. And at four, when she was four, she said to me, "Mom, well, this was when when Titanic was a whole craze." She said to me, "Mom, I'm going to be a singer." And I said, okay, honey, you can sing her. It's fine at four. You know, she can change her mind 10 million times. At one time, she wanted to be a, a prairie cult tree so, for kids. So now she does not want that. And um, then she left that idea behind. I think she was comparing herself to a lot of singers. And she thought, oh, oh no, I'm, I'm not a singer. So she left that behind for a while. Oh. And um, at one point... Actually, what happened, was, I'll tell you the story because this is what started the whole thing with Michael coming here to play with Chai singing with him, was that I worked then for the cruise company. So I had gone into the mold, my, I had a nine to five job and I was working for the cruise company and the people, the guys in the um, accounting department were all musicians, interestingly. <laughs> so at lunchtime, at lunchtime, we would have jam sessions in the offices. And at one point, we said to each other, okay, well, then once a month, we'll someone will host and we'll do a jam session, singing and playing and so on. So we did that. And one day, Michael happened to be here and my daughter also for, on tour. And so he said, oh, I'll come with you. Really, out of the blue. And then my daughter said, oh, she was 16. She said, I'll come with you too. And I was like, really? You want to come with your parents somewhere? Okay. So she came along. And so we had a jam session at this, um, at a, one of the accountants' house. And um, my daughter took the guitar and she started playing and she was doing, okay, my, my, my husband was already showing them stuff and they were like, oh my God. <laughs> and then my daughter took the guitar and she was playing. She likes to, we like to mash up songs. You know what a mashup is? Yeah. You, you take a couple yeah. of songs and you mash them together. Yeah. And she was mashing up songs and singing and everyone was like, oh my goodness. So then my, my husband said, oh, what I'd love to do is when I'm here, I would love to rent out a place, learn some songs. And if people want to come and sing, like an open mic, we'll do that. So he wanted to do an open mic thing. And that's how they started. And then he said, oh, you know, I really want to, quit touring the world, do stuff for myself. And so they just went on from there. Wow. So we just uh, quit, basically quit the world touring, quit what, whoever he was working for and decided to do his own thing here in the South. And a lot of people told him, oh, you shouldn't do that. There's no work here. Um, God, you're leaving this group and that group and oh my gosh and you're gonna work here in the south and he was like yeah and he just did and it turned out really well but it's tough down here for musicians i know a heap of musicians and like they work consistently but they have to work very hard to make a living very hard indeed he, he works a lot he, but he's a hard worker michael he's well, always he, been I, well i know that I mean, he must have several gigs a week. Oh, in the summer, they're like, it can be eight, nine gigs in one week. Wow. Well, Sometimes they have two in a day. That exhausting. 
Doesn't he find it exhausting or is it just simply still a passion? It's still a passion. It's still a passion. He does his own thing. He does the covers. He does also the es the estival, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a producer who will ask him to do like a, a homage to Santana or homage to Jimi Hendrix. We do a, a big reggae one also. You'll have to come and see that one. I'd love to do that. This yeah. is our fifth year we did that. We And so I go, get on stage with them also and uh, break out the old vocals. Yeah. <laughs> So it's really, he just loves what he does. My husband, I'll tell you something. My husband is, um, is was or is or was, because he still is, a kinesiotherapist. A what? Kine. Kine? A kine? Um, not no, a physical no, therapist. Really? No, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> no one does. <laughs> My husband's a kine. A kinetherapist type thing. Yeah. Oh no! I, 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 it, something in my that mind before. says I did know that, but I didn't. It, it just yeah. something I. Right. It doesn't work. Right. It doesn't gel with the musical yeah. soul that I know. No, no, and oh. uh, that that's why he uh, stopped doing that a long. Time. I think we were together two years when he said, "Okay, it's music or it's kine. It's music or it's kine." So he chose music. Has to be music. Yeah. Oh, look, our time is getting up. I'm really fascinated by this. I think we should have a part two, you know, because I, I really would like to know what you think about your daughter and what she wants to do in the future, whether you want to push her towards music and so forth. Let's go up to the mountains uh, six months out of the year just to get away from the. It's it's the thing of being independent. She works with her dad all summer yeah. and then she goes. The Trois Valley in Mary Bell. Uh huh. And she works there for six, five months wow. with an English musician and with English musicians in the area. Uh -huh. And she loves it. She loves it. Anyway, we're going to have to, yes. I'm going to have to say thank you. And we're going to have to do thank big you. smiles when I found the off button. But thank you so much, Ingrid. And thank you big hi to Mikhail when you see yes. him. And hello to Sue. Oh, I'll do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Keep the smile going. Yes. <laughs> bye. Bye.